Hello everyone, this is Asim from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about how AI and ML are changing the gaming industry in 2020. Let's take a look at the agenda for this session. Firstly, I'm going to start with how gaming has evolved over the decades and then we will discuss how AI ML shaped gaming as we know nowadays. Moving further, I will discuss the future of gaming with AI ML and finally, I will sum up this session with a few career opportunities that you have in gaming sector. I hope you are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's AI ML certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let's begin our session. So when we take a look at the evolution of gaming, gaming has actually evolved over the years. With as early as 1950s, chess and checkers written on a computer program gave the opponents a run for their money. The real onset of video games came with the game Pong and Space War in the early 70s. Even though they were based on a two-player concept, these games did not make use of AI and they were basically making use of discrete logic. These games actually gave a rise to a single player concept where the developer will have to make use of non-player character in order to make the game more engaging. Now when I say non-player character, it is basically a character which is not in control of the user or the player that is playing the game. So all the other components of the game that are not in control of the gamer are actually the non-player or non-playing characters. So with this need of a single player concept, actually it came with the emergence of artificial intelligence in gaming industry. But before the onset of AI, developers made use of stored patterns that were used to determine the actions of a non-player character. So when I say stored pattern, basically they had specific outcomes for each user input in the game. So that is one uh, what stored pattern is all about. And with the release of Pac-Man, the developers began to use the artificial intelligence tools to create more advanced games with increased difficulties. Pac-Man introduced the AI patterns in the maze games, which was a genre at that time used by journalists, just like a strategy genre or a fighting genre, etc. Looking at the current scenario, artificial intelligence in gaming is much more advanced and the non-playing characters are much more sophisticated and poses a difficulty in order to win the games as well. So if we take the example of a fighting game, with artificial intelligence, the opponent is much more advanced and performs according to the behavior of the user or you know the game player. And other non-playing characters are made much more precisive with look and feel using advanced hardware and making use of artificial intelligence concepts like augmented reality and virtual reality gaming experience. Even though the main objective is a user experience and have been the same over the decades, gaming has also achieved, it has helped many applications falling on a wider spectrum other than gaming. It has provided an environment for the research and development of applications such as a Watson, which is an IBM computer that can answer questions and uh, when I say non-playing characters in a game, they've become much more intelligent with artificial intelligence and uh, they're able to give responses based on uh, user behavior and which has actually created uh, a lot of user engagement possible with the video games nowadays. To take a look at a video game in the early 90s or the late 2000s, there'll be a drastic change in how the gameplay has changed altogether when it comes to the opponent as a computer. So when we take the opponent uh, from the computer, it is quite difficult to defeat the opponent if it's an AI because uh, they have trained on data based on patterns. So basically you have to identify or you know, you have to be better than the pattern that was used to train the component. All right guys, so we'll just take a look at how artificial intelligence is actually used in gaming guys. So AI in games is basically the brain in the game. The artificial intelligence algorithms are primarily used to generate responses based on user inputs. Now the question here is why not use a set of responses for each user or every user there has to be a set of responses that we'll use. The answer to this is uniqueness of human psyche. Now we know that each user is a different human being and they respond to situations differently. 
So the AI bot or the AI in our game will make an intelligent response based on the set of inputs that a user provides. So let's say if I have a fighting game. So based on what kind of moves player is giving input as based on that and the difficulty level that we choose the component or the non playing component which is also a fighting player in the game will respond to the inputs. So if I am kicking the intelligent response would be to block the move. So that is how AI works in gaming guys and even though the main objective of AI in gaming is to create an engaging user experience to create revenue of course it actually also adds a lot more than just user experience and some of the ways artificial intelligence can be used in gaming include the following or this is how the artificial intelligence has actually shaped gaming in the recent decades. So the first one is the bots that we call them as have actually become much more intelligent and when I say bots it is basically the non player characters in the games and um, that are seemingly becoming more advanced in terms of intelligence. Now, even though we can set the difficulty level, differentiate and anticipate each response according to the user input, it has become much more advanced and engaging, of course. And now to say more on this, uh, let's try to understand this with a game perspective. Let's say you are playing a football match on a gaming console. Now you're playing with a computer. So with each pass that you're making the bot is also anticipating the pattern in your uh, gameplay and they're trying to figure out how to get the ball from you and score a goal eventually. So that's how intelligent the AI has become in uh, gaming guys and the bots are becoming much more intelligent and the future aspect looks also very great. Now talking about the next thing how AI has actually shaped gaming is artificial intelligence concepts uh, like augmented reality and virtual reality has increased the quality of user experience in terms of interacting with the gaming interface. So the look and feel of the non playing characters in a seemingly advanced environment has been a successful move for the gaming industry and it also gives an edge to gaming experience and also announces the arrival of the next level gaming experience. I mean uh, when you take a look at the hardware that we have uh, uh, for gaming right now. So these augmented reality and virtual reality consoles that we have are providing you the next level gaming experience. So that is actually something that has added a lot of value to how games are built and how they're, they're made right now. So that is one thing that is kept in mind. I mean, will they be able to, you know, simulate it on an augmented reality platform or a virtual reality platform? Because it helps in the increased quality of user experience. And that is what uh, the developers actually aim for. And the next thing that artificial intelligence help with is uh, artificial intelligence in gaming has been a constant source of potential to understand the psychological aspect of how an AI bot will react to a user and vice versa. And it goes without saying I mean the data collected from the user interactions with the AI is a groundbreaking opportunity to understand how humans react or interact with the machines. So um, on the basis of how a person is interacting with the machine under circumstances that are laid out by the game that data is actually telling us how a human brain works in different simulations in different conditions and similarly for the machines also if we have an AI over there and we will know for sure how the AI is reacting to whatever the user is giving the input as it is also a phenomenon where it is also known as emergent gameplay guys and it just circles around creating a set of complex systems and it gives you an emergent gameplay where the outcome is decided by the user engagement. So that is one thing artificial intelligence has helped us a lot and it provides a platform. I mean artificial intelligence has also kickstarted the mobile gaming experience but uh, and there are certain limitations with mobile gaming experience as well. Even then artificial intelligence has created a much more sophisticated gaming experience for mobile users. And artificial intelligence is just you know it gives a platform for other developments as well. So whatever AI development that you want to see in the real life you can simulate it on video game and see how it uh, actually performs or how it acts out and that could give you an idea of how it would react in real life as well. Now let us discuss various ways in which uh, the future of gaming might shape up in the upcoming decades. So talking about the future of gaming all the AI concepts that you can think of can be incorporated in the gaming experience as well. 
So the main motive would be to make uh, the user experience better and it could be done by giving the interface new look with the AI or reducing the effort to interact with the you know the gaming interface or uh, making the interface compact and mobile so that uh, it's easier to play games. So the very first thing that could be the next level gaming or that would be you know be a part of next level gaming would be speech recognition in gaming where you know give speech inputs and based on that the um, characters or whatever you know players that you have in your game would react to it and you can play using your voice commands so that is one thing that i uh, think will be the thing in the future gaming and speech recognition is an important part of artificial intelligence in nowadays in the last few years the advancement have shown us how speech recognition can be used in a lot of things and cognitive ai or chatbots also speech recognition is excelling in uh, all the other domains as well and is a good looking aspect for gaming in the upcoming years and then the next thing would be you know taking the virtual reality to the next level where you know you could actually feel the sensations that you are you're feeling in the game and uh, there could be you know advancements where you can be a part of the game but uh, in a sense where you will not completely feel that you are out of the game i mean the next level of virtual reality would be you know taking you inside the game in a way that you would not feel that you are out of the game so that is one thing that i feel would be a future of uh, next level gaming and uh, then again there will be self learning ai which is nothing but you know artificial intelligence concepts based on which the ai will be able to self learn in which uh, unsupervised learning will be involved and deep learning will also be involved where the constant flow of data that a user gives will eventually build the ai from scratch and to a level where it would eventually be so much intelligent into whatever the user is giving the input as and uh, that would be next level guys so imagine you're starting out with the ai in the first level and by the time you reach the next level or the 10th or 12th level in the game the ai has become uh, much more sophisticated and advanced based on how the user has placed and how they have trained together so that is one thing that i feel will be a part of the next level or the future of gaming and then talking about the other changes would be the compact and mobile gaming consoles right now mobile gaming is not really uh, that sophisticated i mean we have made ground breaking uh, breakthroughs but uh, still there are few things that are lacking in the mobile gaming and we could see with the artificial intelligence you know the advancements of compact and uh, mobile gaming consoles so that it'll be easier to play games and you know like we have seen in a lot of movies also like there's a series on netflix which is uh, driven by artificial intelligence so they have shown a lot of episodes where they have you know struck around a lot of possibilities that could be in the gaming sector as well so those are also involving you know the augmented reality where the mobile console is nothing but you know a bunch of earbuds or just a device which could you know just take you to the next level of your reality and you don't actually need anything else to do that so that would uh, be the next level gaming uh, experience also and computer vision also could be the next level uh, in the gaming industry where you know you could do activity recognition in games so let's say you are sitting in front of the console and let's say you're playing a fighting game so what would happen is it would recognize the activity that you're doing through computer vision and that could be a thing guys so that could give the input to the game and according to that you can perform in the game so that is also one reality in the future of gaming industries now talking about the career opportunities that we have in gaming guys i mean the use of artificial intelligence concepts in gaming has also created a need for the game developers to be well versed in these concepts as well because when you are developing a game or programming a game you have to make sure that you are using these artificial intelligence concepts correctly so for that you cannot just go out of your way and uh, do anything you have to be proficient enough in these artificial intelligence algorithms and processes to know how it actually works so the future of gaming will also make use of concepts like deep learning computer vision speech recognition and all those concepts that i've talked about and the fact that ai improves the all round gaming experience it has created a need to learn artificial intelligence for each of the domains involved in gaming so it could be gameplay user experience or any other gaming concept that is required to develop a game from scratch 
so let's just talk about a few career options that we have in gaming guys so first of all we have game designers who basically you know visualize and design the games in a sense that they're coming up with the idea and you know they build upon it so basically how learning ai would help them is you know broaden their way of imagination and they could actually figure out how ai would be eventually visualized on a game so that is how it's important for game designers then comes the game developers and programmers who are going to program the game you know make the whole thing so they have to know artificial intelligence inside out to make use of ai in their game and after that comes the animators so basically they are used for aesthetics and other animations for this particular domain what ai could do is make use of deep combinational networks or um, cnn algorithms in uh, generating new images also known as generative adversarial networks and gans so animators can make use of uh, this uh, particular technology of artificial intelligence to generate images based on previous data that we already have so that is also one thing that people can make use of while making games or the animators can make use of and that is how ai will help animators as well and then we have audio engineers guys so who are going to work with audio and sounds in the entirety of the game so if let's say we are making use of speech recognition also so that is where audio engineers will be making use of artificial intelligence and then of course there is game testers and they're going to test the game with perspective of the quality assurance so what ai could do, help them with is automation and they can actually figure out a lot of mistakes or patterns that they want to figure out so in all round development of the game or the entirety of the games ai could do a lot of wonders and that is why there is a pressing need to learn artificial intelligence and machine learning in the recent age for game developers and now that we have come to the end of the session guys and if you are aspiring to become a game developer there is there isn't any harm in learning artificial intelligence or machine learning it is going to be the next level or it is going to be the stepping stone in the next generation of gaming guys so if you are new here don't forget to like this video subscribe to edureka and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka also check out edureka's ai ml certification program the link is given in the description box below thank you guys and if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment section below I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.